What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your practice. Today we've got a pretty full length practice, including breathing exercises, mudra, which is hand gestures, asana postures, then a little bit of a reclined meditation at the end. If that's interesting to you, grab your yoga mat, change into something comfortable, maybe a folded blanket and maybe one block or something similar to a block. And let's get started. Start by creating some energy, some heat by rubbing the palms together, stirring the prana, tuning in to the subtle energies of the body. And then take the palms and float them just in front of the eyes. Let the energy that you just moved around, stirred up, settle. Relax the shoulders. Bring the hands down toward the lap and we'll take Dvimukham Mudra with the pinky and the ring fingers touching and the rest of the fingers hovering by the pelvis in an opening shape. This is a mudra for deepening awareness, dropping into the earth element, the root chakra, Take three breaths with this, intentionally filling the belly and exhale, let it go. Two more. Last one. And with this connection to the ground, to the earth, arrive in the body what does it feel like from the inside out welcoming yourself to your practice inhale sweep the arms out and up palms touch overhead Exhale, pull down through center. Four more. Exhale, draw it down. Inhale, around and up. Exhale, down. Inhale, gather. Exhale, refine. Last one. Returning to Dvi Mukha Mudra, pinky and ring finger together, palms face up near the pelvis. Good. Take the first two fingers straight and the ring and pinky curled in with the thumb. Fingertips to the ground, find a heaviness in your sit bones, a length through the crown of the head, an upward lift in the spine. And we'll take three rounds of Kapalabhati breathing. So Kapalabhati breathing includes sharp exhalations out the nose as you snap the belly in. And the inhale is passive, uh, it comes naturally. So with the fingertips rooting into the earth, imagining the vines growing down through your fingertips and up around your arms, we'll take one breath to prepare. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale halfway for Kapalabhati and begin snapping. Belly snaps in as the exhale sharp out the nose. Keeping this up for 10 more breaths. Big inhale, sweep the arms up, thumbs come to touch overhead, hold full, full lungs, full belly. 
Exhale completely, arms come down to the earth, two fingers touching the earth, and hold empty. Hug the pelvic floor, hug the belly in, close the throat, take in no breath. Purifying the prana here, finding stillness, and letting the breath return when it feels natural, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Two more rounds like this. Inhale halfway for Kapalabhati. And begin. Pumping the belly, stoking the internal fire, purifying, shining the skull. <laughs> Inhale, sweep the arms up, thumbs come to touch. Hold full. Exhale, two fingers come to the earth, hug the pelvic floor, lift the navel, close the throat, take in no breath. Purifying the prana, slowing the heartbeat lifting through the crown of the head, tongue to the roof of the mouth, and inhale. One more round like this. All right. Inhale halfway. And begin pumping. Sharp exhalations out the nose as the navel snaps in. Five more. What are you pushing through? What are you clearing? Inhale, thumbs come to touch. Expand the ribs out in all directions, 360 degrees. Exhale, two fingers come to the earth. Get empty, empty, empty. Hug the pelvic floor in, mula bond. Hug the navel up and in, uddiyana bond. And the throat comes to close, jalandhara bandha. Like you were creating a little container for all of your life force energy. And you've gotten empty, 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 and you're purifying what's still there. You're purifying what's still true to you. Everything else is gone. If you have to breathe before time, that's okay, but everyone collectively inhale, arms sweep out and up, thumbs come to touch. Hold full. And exhale, Dvimukha Mudra, pinkies together, ring fingers together, palms face up in front of the lap. And take a moment to collect all of the energy that was just very particularly expended. What echo does that have? on the world within. Release the mudra, palms face down on the lap, and let's get into a little movement. Let's start in tabletop position on our hands and knees. Wrists come under the shoulders, knees come under the hips. Knees are hips distance apart, fingers are spread wide, middle fingers point straight forward, and the eyes of the elbow, the fleshy inside part of the elbow, spins forward as you press into the um, first knuckle of your pointer finger. On an inhale from the pelvis, tip the pelvis forward to drop the belly and lift the gaze. Heart shines forward. Exhale, press the hands into the mat as you round the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, it starts with the pelvis, roll forward, belly comes down, chest shines forward. Exhale, rounding the spine, tucking your tail, tucking your chin. A few more like this on your own breath, cow cat. Good. Returning to a neutral spine. Walk the hands a few handprints forward. Keep the hips over the knees, but start to melt the upper body down towards the mat. Puppy pose or half dog. 
Again, L again, eyes to the elbows, spin up as you press into the first knuckle of your index finger. Relax the sides of the neck. See if you can get the belly to rise and fall with your breath. Good. Slowly coming up, walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Curl the toes under and let's sit back on our heels for just a moment, opening up the bottoms of the feet. A few breaths here in toe torture pose. Got to get it in. Nobody likes it, but everyone needs it. Right on. Okay, coming back to our tabletop. Extend the right leg out long, curl the toes under. Left hand comes out in front of you, palm faces towards your center line. Press the right hand into the mat. Press every knuckle in the press every knuckle in the right hand into the mat so that there's a little mound of space in the center of the palm. Press the left the press the shoelace side of the left foot into the ground and lift the right leg. Hunting dog. On exhale, bring the elbow towards the knee. <sighs> Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Good. Exhale, rounding the spine like a cat pose. Inhale, extend out the bottom of your foot, out the tip of the middle finger. You can hold here, or if you're interested, sweep the left arm up and back, bending into the right leg. See, maybe you can grab a hold of one of the toes or the inside of the right foot. If you've got it, kick the foot into the hand. Make sure the chest is still square towards the front of the mat. Good, and release. Left hand comes to the ground, right knee comes down. Brief child's pose, send the hips back. Good, coming back towards your tabletop, extend the left toes long, curl them under, right hand swings forward, right palm faces center line, press into every knuckle in the left hand, get that little mound of space in the center of the palm, shoelace side of the right foot presses into the ground and lift that left leg off the ground. Grow long from the tip of the middle finger to the sole of the foot. Inhale here, exhale round, elbow to knee. <sighs> Inhale, extend. Neutral spine on extension and rounded spine as the knee and the elbow come toward each other. Keeping this up with the rhythm of your own breath. Make it beautiful with your attention, like a moving meditation. And next time you're extended, hold. Option to stay here for strength. If you're staying here, hug everything towards the center line of your body. If you're going for the grasp, bend into the left knee and reach for that back foot. Make sure the heart is still square towards the front of the mat, maybe bringing that right shoulder down a bit, kicking the foot into the hand. One big breath here, inhale, and let it go. Hand comes down, knees come down, brief child's pose, knees wide, toes together, send the hips back. Forehead can come to rest on the mat. Maybe shake the head no. Gently side to side, getting a little massage on the forehead, on the third eye chakra. Right on. Let's come back to our tabletop. Curl both toes under. Get that integrity and widespread in your hands so that the middle fingers point straight forward. Really big, pronounced hands here and float the knees two inches. Hug the navel in. Good, find a cat spine, press the ground away, tuck the chin slightly, rounding the spine, and then exhale, melt the hips high. Coming up to the tiptoes, the hips high, the hips high, the spine extended, knees can be bent, but coming up to the tiptoes. And then start to melt the heels down, downward dog. Maybe pedal out your dog, bending one knee at a time. 
whatever you need, welcoming yourself to the first dog of the practice. Maybe shake the head no. Shake the head yes. Good stuff. On an inhale, come forward to a plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the knees, send the hips high, down dog. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, slight bend in the knees as the hips go high. And melt the knees back. Last one, inhale, forward to plank. And lower down, knees. Pin the elbows towards your ribs, chest, and then chin. Slide the body through, shoelace sides of the feet, press into the mat, and come up for a baby cobra. Baby, baby, baby. Don't even use your hands. It's just about the back muscles. Press the shoelace sides of the feet into the mat. Press the pubic bone into the mat. Lengthen the tailbone. And exhale, lower down. Stack the palms, and the head can come to rest on the palms. Bending into the knees and sway the ankles side to side, get a little release on the low back. Good, one at a time, extend the legs out long. One at a time, place the hands underneath the shoulders with integrity in the spread of the fingers. Curl the toes under and either option to press up like a board or however you can get there, pressing up and back to downward dog. Beautiful. Two breaths here. Recollecting. Again, the eye of the elbow spins forward. The base knuckle of the index finger presses into the ground. Good. Inhale, right leg sweeps up and back. The right hip is still square to the ground. Right hip is facing the ground. And then now let the hips <laughs> now let the hip stack, bend into the right knee, and the right heel comes toward your right bum. So the hips are swiveling open, but the shoulders stay down square to the ground. Make a couple circles with your ankle. Good. Extend the leg, point the toes toward the ground, squaring the hip back down, and place the right foot down. Second side. Inhale, left leg comes up, left toes still pointing towards the ground, left hip still square. Now open up the hip, bending into the left knee, and the hips stay open, but the left shoulder is still square. Shoulders are square and hips are open. Make a couple circles with that ankle, both directions. Good. And place the left foot down. Come up to your tippy toes, gaze is between the hands. Exhale, bend into the knees, get empty, 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 fully empty. And when you're there, step, hop, or walk, feet to hands, forward fold, Uttanasana. Keeping a bend in the knees. Release the head. You can grab hold of opposite elbows, maybe sway side to side. Bring the hands to the shins on an inhale. We'll peel up halfway, roll the shoulders down the back, and exhale round. Two more like this. Inhale, halfway lift. Counter pressure between the hands and the shins. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Get a slight bend in the knees and the arms sweep out and up as we rise all the way to stand, palms press overhead. Exhale, hands through center. And down by your sides, mountain pose. Find integrity in the feet, lift and spread the toes, press evenly through all four corners of the feet. Find an upward lift in the arch, activating the inner arch. Let that activate the inner seam of the leg. Relax the kneecaps. Trust that the pelvis knows how to find its balanced center point. 
Roll the shoulders down the back. Imagine there was a piece of dental floss connected to the very center crown of your head and someone was just lifting it ever so slightly. Gaze is soft at the horizon. Good. Returning to the top of your mat if you're not already there, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Gaze can follow. Exhale, dive over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and step the feet back one at a time, high plank. Option here to lower knees, chest, chin, or straight down like a board. Inhale, peeling through for baby cobra. Pin the elbows toward the ribs. Exhale, lower. Hands underneath the shoulders, pressing up and back, downward dog. Two breaths here. See if you can minimize the fidgeting movements, the economy of energy using only the muscles, only the movements that we need to use. Inhale, come to your tippy toes, gaze between the hands. Exhale, bend deeply into the knees, get empty. And when you're empty, step, hop, walk, feet to hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slight bend in the knees as you rise all the way to stand. Palms come together overhead and down through center. One more, Surya Namaskar. A, inhale, arms sweep out and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to your high plank. Press the ground away. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or all the way, like a board. Inhale, cobra, maybe coming a little higher this time. Taking it easy, though. Press the pubic bone into the ground. Exhale, lower. Press the body up and back, downward dog. Three breaths here. Maybe releasing it out the mouth. Press into the index finger, mound, spinning the eyes of the elbows forward. Finding extension in the spine, even if that means the knees need to be bent. Good. Inhale, come to the tiptoes, looking to the hands. Exhale, bend the knees. And step the feet to the hands. Bending the knees, hips sitting back, inhale, arms sweep forward and up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Fierce pose. Hug the belly in, hug the low ribs in so that you're not um, like Shakira bootying, but we're a straight line from the tip of our tail all the way through the crown of our head and the hands follow. And this can be real subtle. You don't need to be sitting all the way down low, this first chair of the practice, keeping the breath flowing. Good. Three more. Mm -hmm. Palms come together in front of the heart and we'll take a twist. Exhale, uh, left elbow to right knee. Make sure that your left knee didn't come popping forward. Check in. Bring that left knee back in line. One more breath here. Good, coming through center. You got this. Exhale, twisting the opposite way. Right elbow, left knee. Check in with that right knee. Did it pop forward? Can you hug it back in? One long line from the tip of your tail to the crown of your head. Slight tuck of the chin. Can you find broadness in the collarbones, broadness in the chest? Relax something within the effort. Keep breathing, one more. Good, inhale to center. And exhale, standing all the way up. Nice work. Step the feet out wide. Kick the left toes out 90 degrees and the right heel back an inch. Inhale, the arms come out to the side, palms face down. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms come to touch overhead. 
Exhale, arms come out, bending into the right knee. Inhale up. Like Tai Chi's in the park, warrior two. Exhale, warrior two. Last one, inhale up, leg is straight. Exhale to warrior two. Make sure that that left knee is tracking directly in line with the toes, so it's not bowing in to the right, but tracking in line with the toes. An external rotation in that front thigh. Shoulders are parallel with the long edge of your mat. A gentle force bringing your middle fingers apart from each other, creating broadness in the chest and openness in the heart, but a fierceness in the legs. Energy spiraling up through the legs, grounding you. Light up that back leg, press into the knife edge of the right foot. Good, keep the legs exactly as they are, belly button down, doesn't move. Inhale, left arm comes up, reverse warrior. Notice that I'm not bending my torso all the way over and just going straight up in upward energy, rooting in the legs, upward energy in the upper body. Exhale, left elbow comes to left knee, right arm comes up and over, get really strong in the outer seam of that right leg, press into the knife edge of the right foot, side angle pose. <sighs> Turning the right palm down towards the ground, sniffing your armpit. Good, inhale, coming back to warrior two. Straighten into the front leg. Find your block if you have it nearby. Shorten your stance by an inch or two. And start to tip forward over your front leg. And once you tip, tip, tip so far that you can't go any further, that left hand can come down toward the left leg and the right arm comes up towards the sky, triangle pose. The left hand can be on a block or on your shin, wherever you are, find a good counterbalance that helps you spin your chest open to the side. Using that bottom hand for leverage, just spin the chest open to the side like you were a sandwich between two panes of glass. Head can be straight forward or pointed down towards the ground or the gaze can be up towards the top hand. Keep breathing here. Ujjayi breath if you've got it. Good, everybody turn the gaze down towards your left foot. Root through the feet and rise back to stand. Arms float down. Toes swivel forward. Hands to heart center. Turn the toes out and the heels in and we'll take a goddess pose, bending into the knees, cactusing the arms, find an openness in the chest. Three rounds of breath with movement here. So on the inhale, the arms come open and exhale round just the upper spine. Belly button down doesn't move, but the arms come toward each other. Chin tuck slightly. Inhale, everything opens, just the upper body. Exhale, round. Good work for the rib cage here, the heart and the lungs. Inhale, belly button down doesn't move, but the upper body is going through this like butterfly transformation. Exhale, round, cocoon. <laughs> Inhale, blossom like a butterfly. Do butterflies blossom? I don't know. Exhale, cocoon. One more blossom. Inhale, make it count. And as you exhale, straighten into the legs, kick the right toes out, let the left heel drop back an inch, arms sweep out, exhale, bending into the right knee, warrior two, second side. Three Tai Chi's in the park. Inhale, straighten that front leg, arms come to touch. Exhale, warrior two. Two more. Make sure that knee is tracking directly over the toes, external rotation in the front leg. Good. Warrior two and hold. Strengthen the legs. Um, energize your back leg. Like if my hand was right behind your back thigh, you could energize it towards my hand, press into the knife edge of that back foot, the pinky side edge. 
Keep the breath flowing. Ujjayi if you've got it. Gaze is at that right middle finger. On an inhale, belly button down doesn't move. Legs stay strong. Front hand flips up, palm towards the sky, and the right arm comes up towards the face. Reversing warrior. Exhale, right elbow comes toward the right knee, left arm comes up and over, pressing very actively into the pinky side of that left foot. One long line from the pinky side of that left foot all the way to the left middle finger. Spiral the left hand down towards the ground and sniff your armpit, armpit sniffing pose. Good. Turn the gaze toward the ground and we'll lift to warrior one. Inhale. Good. Straighten the legs. Step your back foot in a few inches. Get your block handy. And with the arms out to a T, start to tip, 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 tip over that front leg. And when you can't tip anymore, right hand comes down to a block or to your shin. Left hand comes up like you were sandwiched between two panes of glass. Press into the big toe mound of your right foot and let that spiral your right hip back. Mm -hmm. Engaging both sides of the obliques, not collapsing into the bottom, but the bottom side obliques are just as engaged as the top. Head can be straight ahead, down towards the ground, or up towards the hand. On this next exhale, relax something within all the effort. Good. Everybody's gaze points towards the ground. Press into the feet to rise all the way to stand. Turn the toes towards the front of the mat. Prasarita, Padottanasana, wide-legged, forward fold. Hands can come to the ground, to a block, or to your legs. Relax the neck here. The legs are strong like the granite, the rock of a waterfall. And the upper body just pours over that steady foundation like the water. Good. Hands coming towards the center on an inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, release. Get a micro bend in the knees, engage the kneecaps. And inhale with an extended spine and rise all the way to stand. And either step the feet together or whoosh, jump. <laughs> One last standing pose here. Find a Steadiness in all four corners of the feet. Pour the weight into the left foot. Get light on the right. And we'll take a tree pose. So tree pose, option to place the bottom of the foot um, just like a little kickstand with the toes on the ground. Or the foot can come to the inside of the calf. Or the foot can come above the knee to the inside of the thigh. Whatever you choose, make sure you're not on the knee. Whatever you choose, choose it with integrity. Choose it knowing that it's your body, your practice and feel empowered in that. Find an evenness, a counterbalance, both between the hands in front of the heart and between the foot and the standing leg. An equanimity here. Gaze can lift slightly above the horizon. Let the eyes be soft, let the jaw be soft. The economy of energy only expending as much energy as is absolutely necessary. If you're feeling comfortable, you can grow the branches of your tree open and up. Mm -hmm. 
with the arms extended, inhale, bring that front thigh parallel to the ground. And then as you exhale, bring the right hand down to grab the right foot and we'll tip forward. Maybe this is where you stay, but we'll tip forward just slightly for a dancer pose. Really holding the integrity of this pose, not collapsing into flexibility, but keeping strength and alignment. Let the knee descend down toward the ground, let the hips be level, the shoulders level and square towards the front of the mat. Good, and release. Shake it out. Okay. All right, second side. Find the sturdiness between um, the feet and the ground. Connection from all four corners of the feet. Pour the weight into the right foot. Let the left foot be light. Take your version of tree, either a kickstand, inner shin, or inner thigh. Not on the knee. <laughs> Find the counterbalance, the equanimity, the neither here nor there, but equal in both places between the hands and between the bottom of the foot and the standing leg. Gaze is soft and slightly above the horizon. Melt the shoulders. Relax the jaw. Economy of energy only using the muscles necessary here. Hugging everything towards midline, maybe that lifts your left hip a bit. And if you're feeling balanced, of course you may not be, and there's nothing wrong with that today, but if you're feeling balanced, the arms can grow out and up like branches of the tree. And if you fall over, there is absolutely nothing wrong. Practice having a childlike mind. Maybe saying something sweet or smiling when you fall. Mm-hmm. Good, okay, arms come extending overhead, front thigh comes parallel to the ground, and then the left hand comes down and grabs the outside of the left foot, and maybe you stay here with this quad stretch, or maybe you start to kick the foot into the hand as you tip forward for dancer pose. Again, check in with the levelness of the hips, maybe that left hip needs to come up to meet the right, hugging everything towards center line, kicking the foot into the hand, Maybe dropping the left shoulder forward. Find a broadness in the collarbones. Good, and then slowly coming up and releasing the foot. Great job, shake it out. Oh man. All right, let's cool it down. Find a comfortable seat, transitioning to sitting. Bring the legs out to like a wide straddle pose. And if you have something nearby and you wanna prop your hips up on a folded blanket or a pillow of some kind, that might feel good. Okay. Flex the toes and spread the toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, the arms sweep out and up. Get heavy in the sit bones as you lift through the chest, lift through the crown of the head. And then the hands come down in between the legs. Keep the spine extended. Keep that piece of dental floss pulling your crown of your head up and extending the spine. And with all of that integrity, with the feet flexed, with the spine extended, start to hinge at the hips. Keeping extension in the spine, not rounding the back yet. And now releasing, letting the spine round if that feels good. Maybe spider, yogi spider, walking your fingertips forward. And what can you let go of here? Soften the feet. Let the body micro adjust. Mm -hmm. 
Slowly walking the hands back towards your seat, bringing the spine upright. Coming off of the prop, if you have it under your hips, bring the feet to the ground with the knees bent. And we'll take a sage pose. So wrap the hands around the shins and bring the right ear to the right knee. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the temple touches. And wherever you are, just melting a little bit. Softening down. Really dropping into the space that we created through our activating, energizing practice. Now we can occupy some of that cleared room. Good. Return the head towards center. Use your left hand under your left leg. Take your right ankle and pull the right ankle towards your left hip. Okay, I'll say that again. So the left hand comes under the left leg, takes the right ankle and pulls it toward the left hip. Let the right knee settle down on the ground. From here, left hand comes behind the hips. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, belly button down does not move, just the upper body twists to the left and the hand comes to settle on the leg. Find a heaviness in the pelvis and the sit bones and a length through the crown of the, the head. A slight tuck in the chin. Spinal twist. Go easy on your neck here. You don't need to be looking all the way behind you. This is a thoracic spine to, spinal twist. Just the rib cage, the space around the heart. Soften the jaw, soften the sides of the neck, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, just behind the front teeth. Good. Slowly on an inhale, both arms come up and overhead, body comes to the front of the mat. And exhale, second side. Right hand comes behind, left hand comes to the inside of the left leg. Counter twist. You can use the opposition of the leg and the arm or the leg and the hand to bring your thoracic spine a little deeper into the twist, but the belly button still facing forward and we're going easy on the neck. See if you can tap into the inner nectar that the ancient yogis talked about. Maybe that is some kind of positive bodily fluid that gets released when we stretch and strengthen and then tune in. The ancient yogis talked about this nectar of life. Inhale, both arms sweep up. Exhale, back to sage pose. Left ear comes toward the knees. These last two poses of the practice before the final rest. See if you can make them a transition into stillness, stillness of mind, particularly. Bring the head back towards center and slowly inhale. This time the right hand reaches underneath the right leg, grabs hold of the left ankle and bring that left ankle towards your right hip. Inhale, right hand behind, left hand comes up, and exhale for the twist. Good. 
heavy in the sit bones, belly button facing forward, and just the thoracic spine twisting to the right. Envisioning this sweet nectar being released in the body like you were some kind of fruit that was being juiced as you twist. And when the tongue goes to the roof of the mouth, just behind the front teeth, you're preparing the mouth to drink this nectar. Relax something. On an inhale, both arms sweep up and take the counter twist. Shoulders away from the ears. Softness in the body and a softness in the mind. Start to notice the breath's natural rise and fall in this moment. Relax something, release something. Slowly coming back towards center, bring both feet to the ground and we'll roll back bone by bone to our backs. Hug the knees into the chest, maybe rocking side to side, a little last spinal massage. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, let the hands open, palms face up by your sides, and one leg at a time, extending long for your Shavasana. Roll the shoulders underneath the back, creating some more space for the neck. Let the head be heavy. The back of the heart heavy, the pelvis heavy, and the legs heavy, feet flop open. Hollow out the wrists. And just notice the breath's natural and spontaneous rhythm. your personal metronome. Your tool to turn in to the life force is to focus on the breath. And if at any point thoughts arrive, that's perfectly normal. You can thank the brain for doing its job and thinking the thoughts. And like a child, you can just guide it back to focusing on the in and the out of the breath. It doesn't need to be an internal story about thinking the thoughts, just the gentle guidance back to the breath. Relax the jaw, tongue to the roof of the mouth. 
inner corners of the eyes heavy. And the outer corners of the eyes relaxed. And just the breath in and out. And if there's a particularly sticky thought or emotion or story, just place the breath around it. Like you could envelop it in a cloud slowly starts to disintegrate and the breath just goes in and out clearing us of what does not serve us And setting the rhythm. Slowly start to invite deeper inhales, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Next, rolling the wrists and the ankles. Bending one knee at a time, placing the feet flat on the ground. Inhale, the arms sweep up. Exhale, roll to one side. Pausing here. Side lying fetal position. Three breaths appreciating and holding and soothing your inner child. Envisioning yourself as a young person and sending that person three breaths. Recruiting the strength of the top arm to press the ground away, coming up to a seat. Establish integrity in the seat, maybe getting the hips elevated. Palms can be face down on the lap or face up, up for receiving and down for grounding. Palms come together in front of the heart. One breath for the physical body, for taking time out of your day to practice. Thumbs to the center of the forehead, one breath for inner wisdom. Arms sweep out and up, one breath for the connection between us all, the collective. May all beings everywhere, near and far, seen and unseen, young and old, know peace and the causes of peace. Palms come together in front of the heart. May the benefits of our practice serve not only us, but everyone around us, friends, family, community, and beyond. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this, and I hope to see you soon. 
spread peace.